We both know you're going to be out of business eventually. There's no need to sabotage yourself. Uh, my community supports each other. Don't get me wrong, I love gays. I'm sorry, are you talking about your hairdresser or your personal stylist at Bloomingdale's? It's the AIDS I don't like. Well, some of us can't just pretend it ain't there. Oh. You think I haven't lost anyone? Fabrizio, my hairdresser, you so casually mentioned. My cousin, Christopher. We used to make meatballs at Grandma's house. Kept his pillow biting secret even after he died of skin cancer. We all knew, though. That's why nobody came to the funeral. Everyone has felt the pain of this thing. That's why you, of all people, want to make sure no one is thinking about it when they come through that door, wondering if you've properly cleaned your instruments before use. I got one of those sterilizing machines in the back. Do you want to see it? No. I actually put your flyer back in the window. Anything to get you out of here sooner. And just to prove I don't have a heart of stone, here's 20 bucks for your little AIDS night. Oh, wow, 20 actual whole dollars. <laughs> you know what? I need to come and give a proper donation in person. Maybe I'll even sing a song or two. I was quite the singer at Rutgers. I could have had a career on the stage, but I just can't stand being told what to do, so acting wasn't for me. 